Just how do narcissists play the blame game with their projection? A narcissist projection is a mix of their manipulative gaslighting and their manipulative blame shifting as they go all out distracting you from the truth as they do the best to cover up their distorted lies as they try to hide the truth of their toxic hurtful negative behavior from you at the same time they get you to doubt and blame yourself and take on board the responsibility of the narcissist actions they get you to justify and defend yourself to them for how you think or feel due to their hurtful ways they get you explaining yourself to them about things you haven't even done about feelings you don't even have so that the narcissist can escape accountability so that the narcissist can remain in control and so that they can get away with their actions time and time again while slowly sinking you further under their trance a narcissist this projection is their defense mechanism so that they can escape taking any form of responsibility, avoiding all form of accountability and avoiding any consequences for their actions while getting you to blame yourself for their behavior. Psychological projection is a defense mechanism used by a narcissist to defend their own ego against their own negative qualities by denying the existence of their own inner faults and placing them onto others. A way to deny theirs and our reality, a way of denying something they have done and passing the blame for their behaviour, thoughts or feelings onto others. A narcissist can be projecting thoughts, flaws, emotions, characteristics, actions and feelings that they don't like within themselves over to you. Projection is a narcissist manipulation method to control the image, the realities they want others to see, to gaslight us into losing our minds, often causing that cognitive dissonance where because we live in two different realities, the one we live and the one we're gaslighted into believing, we then end up living with two very different beliefs, values or ideas within our minds which leaves us disorientated and confused. We know they cheated. We know cheating is wrong. We know it hurts. We know we deserve better. Yet a narcissist will gaslight us by projecting their faults onto us. If only you'd have paid me more attention. And most often they believe it because a narcissist believes they're entitled to excessive admiration, which is why they're so convincing when they say these things. Most often, a narcissist will do all they can to deny any infidelity, calling us insecure or jealous. They don't hide the truth to protect our feelings. Like when cheating is committed in a non-narcissistic relationship, where the cheater would feel remorseful and guilty, would offer a genuine apology, this infidelity still hurts narcissists hide the truth from us to save themselves even when we know the truth a narcissist can still deny a lie provoke to pass the blame and find any way they can to twist it all onto us so that they can escape accountability as they feel entitled to do as they please with a lack of empathy to care for those they exploit and hurt along their way so long as the narcissist needs to be met and they are receiving the attention they believe they're entitled to. A narcissist does not want to be discovered for who they indeed are. They do not want to admit any wrongdoing. So with the word salad they throw our way, they pass all their faults onto us. A narcissist will exaggerate something you said as evidence. At the same time, they will downplay any of their toxic behavior. They will use triangulation, manipulation by quoting a third party to get us to doubt ourselves. I went here with Sam. I told you last week I was going. Do you want to message Sam and check with them? Then when a narcissist uses a third person who they weren't actually with, it is often a lie. Or they might have been with them, so it's a twist of the truth because where they went afterwards, they weren't with them. 
any way to distort and lie about reality. Or they'll say, what about what Sam did? And bring up something that they perceive we would think Sam did far worse. Most narcissists do actually tell on themselves. If we listen closely enough through the narcissist projection, they reveal what they are, what they are genuinely doing, what they are thinking. They accuse us of what they have done or what they are planning on doing. They blame exes for what they truly put the exes through. They do this to pity play, to get people on side by playing the victim to a reality they created. Also to project their own mistakes and faults away from themselves and onto others. So that the narcissist doesn't feel they're in a shame of their actual actions. As soon as they do something wrong, they instantly start to look for why the other person was at fault. A narcissist projects their feelings onto others so that they don't have to deal with them. They make others feel guilty for what the narcissist did to that person as they are unwilling to feel like guilt within themselves. A narcissist is unable and unwilling to be held accountable or responsible for things they think, say and do. They have to project onto others to escape their accountability, often lacking in cognitive reflection skills, meaning once they've made their version of events up, there's little chance of them looking back and reflecting on any errors they make. They are often preoccupied with getting what they want. They're arrogant enough to believe that only their thoughts, feelings and opinions count. That I are desperate for control, to be admired and to be right. Once they've made their minds up, this is then their truth. A narcissist will divert and distract you from what's genuinely happening by changing the subject, talking over you. The aggressive anger and rage or the passive aggressive silent treatment. Or they will shift the blame onto you to get you and others to take responsibility for the narcissist's actions. Observing what a narcissistic person does and the patterns of manipulation methods that they use helps us get the truth. As a narcissist will never directly admit to anything, when we absorb their toxic words, when we take on responsibility for their behaviour, we end up full of guilt, feeling like we are to blame, feeling confused about things we haven't even done. Unfortunately, narcissists don't come with warning labels, but one warning is listening and observing how they talk about others, how they treat others, what they say other people have done to them, how they pull other people down. A narcissist will accuse you or others of things you are not even doing They will attack yours and others' characters, hobbies, passions and dreams by invalidating each of them, putting you down, putting other people down, calling people names like stupid, idiot, selfish, asking you why do you have to ruin things when you haven't, you're actually trying to make it work and keep them happy. A narcissist will play the victim in their smear campaigns They will always be looking to blame you or someone else. They will say, if only you. Any false apology often has a you in it as to why they chose to do something to hurt you. They will say, I'm sorry if you. I'm sorry, but you didn't. It's not and it's never has been you. It was their choice to do the things that they do. No one made them, they just gaslight you into believing you made them. Common examples, when they accuse you of cheating and you know full well you're not and never would, not all narcissists will do this. Those who do will question where you've been, who you've been with. They will go on and on because they are cheating or they are planning on cheating. They accuse the exes of stalking them, being crazy and obsessed with them. They are abusive towards them. Now, some exes might match this and look crazy. That's because the narcissist drove them that way. Some exes might be constantly messaging. That's the trauma bond and the ex wanting answers and closure. The narcissist will start stalking exes as soon as the ex goes no contact. As for being abusive, 
Listen carefully, as that's precisely how they will treat you. They accuse the ex of withholding the children. This can be one of two things. One, the narcissist does not need to use the children, so cannot be bothered to see them. To escape responsibility, to escape being held accountable, they blame the ex. Or two, the ex has woken up from the trance. The narcissist has put them under, realise how dangerous they are, and stopped contact. You get accused of being selfish, or that's just like you. My ex would. Yes, that crazy ex that did nothing but hurt them would have done that for them. This is to confuse you. When you set a boundary, a narcissist wants to break that down as they believe they are entitled and they want to be in control over you. They think you shouldn't have boundaries. They accuse you of being selfish because they are selfish. They say that's just like you. Usually when you started treating them, how they treat you. No contact. For you to heal is their silent treatment for them to take you down. They are looking to gain a reaction from you. They accuse you of lying. This is because they themselves are compulsive liars. They accuse others of causing all their problems that the narcissist actually caused to those other people. And those who have now stood up for themselves against the narcissist are now having their name smeared by the narcissist. They accuse you of doing nothing for them. This is to get you to do something you don't want to do and break down your boundaries to walk on eggshells and do more and more to please the narcissist. In reality, when you stop and think, you most likely did everything for them and they did very little for you. A narcissist will say they'll never hurt you as the ex hurt them and they know how it feels, meaning they're going to hurt you like they destroyed the ex. They accuse you of being crazy, depressed. They will most likely have gaslighted you into feeling this way. If you've been around them for a long time, the reality is they are this way within themselves, why they have to have others' attention to fill their own self-esteem. Once you break free and reality starts to kick in and return, you realise you were never the crazy one. However, a narcissist will be accusing you of having mental health issues when you do break free, they accuse you of being a control free, trying to break down your boundaries, values and beliefs, stop you doing what you want to do and so the narcissist can keep control over you. When a narcissist says you'll never find someone like me, they believe they are far superior and better than anyone. So this is kind of a truth on their part. Unfortunately, with research now suggesting one in five are on the spectrum of the disorder, they're not quite as unique as they believe themselves to be educate yourself so you never find one like them again how to disarm no contact is always the best method if that's not possible limited contact in gray rock do not engage in it do not listen to them do not react to them don't make it your problem don't take it personally look for the bigger picture what have they done what are they thinking of doing what are they doing what are they hiding look beyond their words look at how you feel around them and what deep down you know to be true listen to your instincts they know what they're on about even when you don't do not react do not defend yourself know your truth and leave them to it when you defend yourself to a narcissist this is what they want they have you right where they want you and they view you as desperate unstable and crazy they will then turn your reactions into being the problem be who you want to be no it's not about you they're talking about themselves and trying to make their reality yours don't take their behavior personally have your boundaries. Your no needs to be no and you need to stick to your no. If you feel the need to explain, do it once, once only. Respond, don't react, leave them to it. Be careful, don't project your good qualities onto them. Once you understand who they are, you cannot love them into loving you. Forgiving them, trying to help a narcissist, trying to be kind to a narcissist will only ever harm you. The more you forgive them, the more they believe they can get away with it and the worse their behaviour gets. It will never change 
them. Your forgiveness, your love, your compassion will never change them. They just see this as an opportunity to exploit you more. Forgiveness is for you. It's not to let them back in your life to hurt you again. When it comes to dealing with narcissistic people, recognise what you're dealing with and always stay safe. I shall link into the video description the video on why we need to stop explaining ourselves to narcissistic people. If you're looking for further understanding and help overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online courses available and the teachable links will be in the description. If you're looking for someone to speak to, I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link will also be in the video description. Go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.